Hi everybody. Today I'm going to review our new trailer. It's a uh, StarCraft Autumn Ridge. Sorry, I'm struggling with the sun here. I can't see my display. 28 uh, QBS. Uh, we bought it new. It's a 2017. And we haven't been camping yet, but we've spent the last month and a half getting it ready to, to uh, go camping. Some of the features I like about this trailer. Coming around the front here. The uh, diamond plate there goes a little bit higher than most trailers. Um, so when you're heading down the road, it's less likely that the trailers can be damaged from flying rocks. Uh, this one comes with two 30 pound uh, propane tanks to give us longer time uh, if, if we uh, boondog it. Uh, it does come with this little lock right here for, let's see if I can set that up for you, so that you can lock up, oh sorry I'm tromping through some snow, so you can lock stuff up so it has this cable you can pull out and maybe attach it to something that you have to leave outside but you don't want somebody to pick up and casually steal. I do have to do some modifications to that. If you note, it is just bolted on there so that kind of defeats a whole lot of security on it. You know, somebody could just bring a wrench and unbolt it real quick. So I may take my welder out and put a little dot, spot weld it to keep uh, somebody from being able to do that. Uh, it came with a single 12 volt battery. I'm going to replace that with two uh, 6 volt golf cart batteries. I may have to take a look before I do it. I don't know why on my distribution clamps here that I have such a long bolt in there. Um, so I'll have to replace those with shorter ones. You can see there's one on both sides. And then I need to measure to make sure two 6-volt batteries will fit on that little bracket. If not, I might have to do some modification or build some sort of ramp. But uh, this battery just doesn't have the uh, oomph to, to power the trailer. I, we had snow the other day. I ran the heat in order to uh, help melt the snow off the roof. And uh, while I was doing that, I had to unplug the trailer to run my electric snow blower. And in that maybe hour or so of it running just the furnace, which isn't a small appliance, but uh, it, it, it kind of knocked the battery down about halfway in that hour. So I think two good sized golf cart batteries will work pretty well. Uh, this trailer also comes with an electric uh, tongue jack which works real well and it also has this little light to help uh, at night I don't know how bright that works out to be but it's a nice little feature um, you come around it has 15 inch tires uh, kind of the advantage of that I've seen some trailers around that sit so close to the ground usually older trailers but they sit so close to the ground that I think especially, you know, you look at that distance behind the tire and the bumper that uh, coming up a, a steeper grade like my driveway, you know, you might drag the tail end. And so if it sits higher, you know, if you get on some backcountry roads, some ups and downs, um, you're not going to drag the tail so badly. It does come with, I'm working against a real bright sun, so I can't really see what's... Uh, what I'm shooting here. Um, it does come with an electric awning. I apologize. I, I really I can't see what I'm doing here. The sun's right in my eyes. But uh, there's a couple outdoor speakers which uh, you know the owner of the trailer likes and the neighbors don't like. Uh, coming down here there is an output. If you brought a TV you can hook um, your cable right up there there's two outlets is right there and there's your water fill tank and then these autumn ridges uh, by Starcraft they all seem to come with I think this is becoming standard for them uh, the climate package which 
what it does is instead of the undercarriage being wide open um, they've, they've got some I'll call it foam board underneath that keeps it all enclosed and the furnace which is right there is the output of the furnace the uh, exhaust of the furnace uh, the furnace blows over the pipes and uh, hopefully the water tanks to keep things from freezing up so that you can use the trailer in a little bit warmer I mean colder conditions you can't see it but underneath the awning is uh, LED lights to give a nice little uh, lighting um, when you're sitting out in the evening listening to your music and then there's also a, a porch light here and then above that porch light and you can see back there it has a gutter system and the spouts actually stick out a little bit to try and keep the water off the trailer um, best I can figure for my reviews hopefully that sun's not in your eyes like it is mine best I can figure water is the uh, one of the biggest killers of these trailers is when it gets behind that uh, metal and gets in the wood and causes all sorts of problems. Uh, this one has a back door and a front door of course and it just has the one storage facility I call it the basement but there's a little bit of space in there Maybe I'll leave that open and when I go around the back I'll uh, shine through. Uh, I've got some tools and stuff in here, fuses, stuff you might end up needing on the thing. You can Maybe you can see my trailer, I mean not, sorry, my grill that came with the trailer and goes on the bumper hitch back there. And then on the far side is my container with sewer and fresh water hookups. Uh, there's a wrench for the um, for the stabilizers, and that's another that other thing back there is the uh, you can set the grill on a table or on the ground or something. You don't have to use it on the on the trailer uh, mount. Uh, and then there's also a battery cutoff to shut off all the power from the battery so if you're leaving it stored for a while you don't drain the batteries down with the uh, smoke detector uh, the microwave light the radio stuff like that and then uh, these Starcrafts come with their solar ready if uh, if that's the kind of thing you need you can just plug your solar panels right in there and now they're hooked directly up to uh, to charge up your uh, batteries I didn't notice there's a website for the company that has it. I see if I can get some information uh, about that. Uh, real quick, there's not a lot on the back of the trailer oh, to talk about. This is the other side of the same storage. Uh, I have a container with my equipment for draining the sewer and a separate container for my fresh water stuff. Um, don't want those to mix up. And these kind of clamp shut because above this is uh, one of the beds and so uh, you wouldn't want the fumes from this kind of uh, leaking out. There's my triangle flares. Anyway, is this a nice size pass through? I think it holds just about everything we need. It's to the front of the trailer, so it keeps from getting too much weight on the back. Uh, this trailer has a max weight of 8,500 pounds. This is about the biggest trailer that um, our truck can pull. It leaves about a uh, maybe a thousand pound um, buffer, so we're not right at the max of the trailer weight uh, trailer pulling weight with this truck but we're getting up there a little bit heavier than I would like but uh, that's what we have uh, it has two slide outs this one covers uh, you can see that vent is for the uh, 
above stove, rain, the range vent, and then uh, the window above the sink, and this window is above the couch. You'll see that inside. So that just slides out a little bit. Our docking station, um, and above that's the refrigerator. This docking station, they actually had to send me a replacement. It was missing when we bought the trailer. And it's nice because they got it from the manufacturer, so it actually came with the keys that are the same as the uh, basement over there. You know, it does have the outdoor, they call it outdoor shower uh, fitting. Plus it does have the black water uh, flush system so that to help you clean up so you don't have to drag a hose or anything inside the trailer to clean the toilet, uh, the black water system. And it does have this little it's just a lighted switch that I guess if we were hooking up again, we'll have to see how that works at night. And your water pump uh, on-off switch. There's one there and there's also one inside. The power hookup, pretty simple. It does have a little uh, indicator light, kind of hard to see, to let you know that power is hooked up to it. Uh, it's a detachable plug, locks it in place. and. Uh, if the, trail, if the trailer park has cable, you can hook it up there. I don't believe that that hooks to that connection that's on the front side of the trailer. Um, this uh, RV has a built-in uh, HD um, antenna system with a power booster, and that's on a different set of cables I believe uh, coming around back so this is another slide out for a queen size bed back here that's the uh, QBS queen bed slide out uh, designation uh, not much to talk about back here spare tire there's that gutter system working keeping the water a little bit away from the trailer on this side on the other side it's hitting it I guess because of the breeze I replaced my uh, trailer caps with this magnetic one it locks right to and acts as a cap for your sewer hose um, but that's a nice place to store and then on the other side um, I have an extension I bought a 15 foot hose and then I have an extension and then there's the bracket for the barbecue grill that whole thing swings around and the grill sets down on those posts um, so that you uh, have a place for your grill and there's one of the dogs. There's Venus. There's Neptune. All right, just walking around the front side here. Uh, that's, um... So I like the way this trailer sits up high and uh, and things like that. When you come inside the trailer, I have it plugged into just a 15 amp circuit, but that's good enough to say run the lights. Uh, inside the door you have a little control panel. You have a switch for the power awning. I'm just going to leave that alone. And then you have a switch for this main slide out. <laughs> One of my first times I wasn't paying attention, I kept doing this. I'm like, What's, why won't the slide work? Well, because you dummy, me you were using the wrong switch. But you push the out, and this whole big section of the wall slides out. So it really opens this up to give a nice amount of space inside here. Come around here. We have the uh, front bedroom with some storage up there, storage behind the mirrors. This bed will lift up and there's storage right here, but in the back you can actually access all that stuff in the, in the basement um, if you would want to. I might just cover that up to isolate it, but That'll be a later date. Uh, emergency exit there. A window here. And 
it comes all with the window treatments which is nice one less thing you have to worry about buying with the trailer and I'll tuck up here so they won't bang around Lots of lights, the uh, air conditioning goes through the vents and the heat. And we've run the furnace a bit over the last month when I'm going to come out here and putz around. And this room right here with the door closed gets, uh, gets nice and toasty. Got to make sure that this door is closed when you bring the slide in. You can see there that it would press against uh, the couch when you uh, are bringing the slide in. So you want to make sure. Uh, that the door is closed when you do that. And this is a jackknife couch. Uh, let's see what I can do here. My son told me I need to watch videos on how to make videos. The jackknife couch here lifts up and turns into a sleeping place. It really would just be for kids. As you can see, I don't know if you can see my head, but it. It's not quite long enough for an adult, even diagonal. So we don't have small children, as I said, we're empty nesters, but it does give you storage underneath for some bigger items. It goes up and down pretty nicely. It is a pleather, I'll call it, and you can see it's pretty slippery. So. I don't know, I might have to put a cover on it so I don't slip off. Although it's not too bad now when you sit on it. Uh, it does come standard. There's your carbon monoxide sensor and the uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, the trailer door lock. Hey, there's your screen to separate it. And then, uh, kind of neat when you do this, you can open the screen things tickle my fancy with a deadbolt on the door to lock up from inside uh, some nice cabinets you know there's just enough space inside here to kind of keep your stuff when you're uh, camping uh, those are two drawers everything locks in place so it takes a little effort you know kind of a drawer getting some stuff in there clicks in there pretty firmly so hopefully it won't slide open while you're driving. Oh, a double sink. The cutting board on top. And pull down faucet. Tomorrow's my big day to go get the uh, flush out the lines and so we'll see how the faucets and things work. Cabinets up above, microwave, an oven. There's a little light under here. Helps you see in the drawers or actually like a night light. Three burner stove with an oven. Doesn't need any electricity so you can use that no matter what. The microwave of course 120 volts for the microwave. Came equipped with the TV. I'm going to change the mounts on the TV because it doesn't swivel. So even though flat screens are kind of made to be looked at at an angle you know you're sitting way over here at this angle it's a little odd so I'll probably put a they, they make special uh, mounts for trailers because they lock in place when you're when you're on the roads so your TV's not flopping around but uh, I'll put that so I can maybe pivot it when we're watching although it is in a good position if you're just sitting right here at the dinette set the dinette set while we're at it that of course like most dinette sets turns into a bed that one's long enough for an adult not my son who's 6'3 but certainly for me you pull that top off you take those two silver poles out and the top sits on on those little ledges let's see, um, nicely and then the cushions all spread out to make a mattress I have a uh, a mattress topper I'll trim to size and it's really kind of a funky size to try and get sheets so to get a fitted sheet I was struggling so I just bought two full-size flat sheets I'll either tuck or I might put snaps on them and screw in there underneath this bench is uh, the water furnace I'm just water furnace the uh, water heater and also the pump 
and this is your access for when you uh, winterize the uh, the plumbing system. We got ourselves a little Keurig um, coffee machine that of course won't be able to stay there when we're driving or else it'll be flung around but um, that and then the thing underneath it's where we can put our little K cups. Uh, it does have a little stereo system by Furion in it. Uh, AM FM you can Bluetooth your phone to it. Uh, you can play DVDs through the television over here and uh, seems to work pretty well and then it has two switches one for the, uh, inside speakers Watch this There's a little zoom action going on so it has two speakers in the ceiling here but then uh, it has those two speakers outside it's all hooked to I probably looking at the instructions on the unit it's got a jack out for a infrared sensor and I might go ahead and run that through the outside wall we'll see um, so that if you were sitting outside you could change the station or some, you know use the multi-buttoned remote control that comes with it and be able to uh, you know turn the volume up and down and change stations and things like that from outside the trailer while you were sitting out there uh, it has this area up here which is really I think for like DVDs and stuff like that CDs if people know what those still are. Um, we stuck that little wine bottle thing in there. We don't drink a lot of wine, but, uh, you know, just whatever we want to do. Uh, it also comes with, I'm not positive what these USB, if they hook directly to the Furion, uh, or if they're for charging. Uh, I haven't experimented with that yet. And this is a Wi-Fi extender, which is kind of nice. You turn that on, and it has a... A router like you would have in your house um, but it will hook to the wireless signal of the trailer park and give you a firewall but then it boosts the signal for inside the trailer so if you're using your wiring devices um, then it works for that and that's um, Wi-Fi Ranger I think is the name of the company that does that uh, I told you the outside you have that satellite in that's the blank jack on the right. That's why I don't think any of the other jacks are connected. The antenna on the roof, which is powered, that's what the red light's for. Um, and that does pretty good. Where I'm sitting in central Pennsylvania, I've got 18 stations on this TV right now. Um, so we'll see what, what it's like. And then, of course, a plug for the TV. Uh, it is 120 volt DC, 120 volt AC TV. So if you aren't hooked up to shore power, you lose uh, you lose the TV, the microwave, and the air conditioning. A uh, nice little air conditioner unit seems to work pretty well. We haven't had a hot day to try it yet, but I have run it just briefly to make sure it was working okay. It has these vents, so with them open, most of the air conditioned air is just coming into this room. So if it's a hot trailer, you can run it like that for a while, get this room cooled off, and then when this room's cool, close those back up, and it pushes the air uh, through the air conditioning vents that are throughout the trailer um, to cool off the rest of the trailer. And then if you get this room cool first, then it'll help cool the rest of it because it draws the air in here and it cools that air. Um, so the colder the air is it's drawing in, the colder the air it can push out. So that's where it pays to make this room cooler first. Uh, just a basic microwave, just like uh, you would have in your house. I uh, covered this in another video. This is my progressive power protector that's on the trailer it's built in I, I built it in I put it in um, protects from over voltage lower voltage uh, if you know you see it's running at 60 Hertz I forget what the tolerance is but if it gets outside of the frequency range it'll shut uh, the power off um, sorry about that my excellent video operating 
that's teaching you that. Um, it does have a bypass. I bought a generator. When it's on the generator, it won't pick up a ground, even when I ground the generator, and so it shuts off. So if you have an open ground, it'll shut off also. So if, if the unit separates the trailer from the power, because it doesn't like the electricity, if you know that the power is okay, like my generator is an inverter generator, so it should be putting out really nice electricity, but because it shows an open ground, it won't, this thing will separate the power. You can go into bypass and take the protector out of the loop. I wish I would mounted that more to the left when I pull the slide and I can't see that. One of the nice things about this uh, trailer with the slides is even when the slides are in, you can use the trailer. It doesn't completely block access. Uh, heat register down there, big deal. And that's the uh, for the air intake for the furnace, which is underneath this bench. Nice, simple... Uh, Thermostat control, more or less like what you have in your house. And you go into the bathroom. What can I say? It's a bathroom. Nice and tiny. It does have a skylight built into it. Nice little sink. It is a porcelain toilet with a uh, with a foot lever. I, I know some of them use your hand. You have to reach down there which puts your face you know right in the side of the toilet uh, not a lot of space for a trash can in here so I got one of these little units that hang on the door uh, so that if you have something to throw away and then I mentioned this has a climate package you see on that little when you get down there you see on that little vent right there this thing really blows heat, and then the pipes come in. Let's see if I can get you a little more light. Pipes come in down here, focusing, come in down here, and it really um, blows heat to keep the pipes warm so you won't have a burst pipe. Like I said, I don't know how cold it, that works to, um, but it is a nice feature. And scroll it up. Of course, in a bathroom, you need a vent fan to uh, pull the air out. So you can crank that handle to open it up. And then there's a switch next to the light switch to run it. Eight cubic foot refrigerator, freezer, a little bit bigger than um, some are only six cubic feet. So that kind of works out nice. It is a uh, dual power, set it on auto, it'll run on either electricity or gas, whichever is the best uh, for the situation. And temperature control. It does also have the little latches there. These aren't these doors aren't quite closed all the way. That lets air go in so it doesn't get uh, skanky inside there. It's a technical term, skanky. Pantry here. That's where my inverter is. Oh, not my inverter, but that's my inverter down there. But in this cabinet here is uh, underneath the floor back in there is where my um, power protection pack is. Um, it's mostly pretty quiet, but if I close my trap, you can hear. It does have just a slight to it. Hopefully that'll be okay because I'll be sleeping in this queen size bed. And this is the second slide out. So has this controller right here. So nice easy slide out 
gives you some nice space back here in this room. And this is what we liked about it with the two queen size beds um, to give us space. My pillows are inside. So you have that. You have your storage cabinet. Some of those have for hangers. And there's both in both bedrooms, there's a TV hookup which is hooked to the uh, digital antenna. Um, which is nice. I put one in my in the other bedroom. My wife likes to listen to TV when she sleeps. And this is the other door. A little bit narrower, but uh, second in, entrance exit. And of course, there's a sliding door for this bedroom back here also. We wanted two queen beds because of those guys right there. Take our big dogs with us and. Uh, they're spoiled brats and end up in the bed and so we wanted uh, we wanted a trailer with enough space to take them and there's a third dog he's inside in bed and so we wanted to make sure that uh, we had a trailer that had the space and you can see there in the living room there, there's a bit of space we put the rugs down so they'd have something to lay on but we like um, the tile floors and these rugs we can take and shake out beat with a broom if we have to clean them out so I haven't been camping yet but I so far I like the uh, the trailer I like the features that come with this the the built-in antenna the Wi-Fi um, you know it, everything's in the climate package because uh, I don't want to be limited so so far everything's pretty neat um, I hope you've enjoyed my little tour of the uh, Starcraft Autumn Ridge QBS travel trailer 28 feet uh, and we'll see thanks for uh, watching my video